Hello everyone. So today we will talk about some of the interesting page properties in AGM. So we used to, you know, just copy and paste the page properties dialog and we doesn't uh, take these properties into notice. So here I am going to discuss some of the properties and let's talk about it. So our first property is CQ colon show on create. So what this property does. So I will go to my console. Sorry. I will just take you from the beginning. I am going to sites, then V retail, then some pages are here. And if I create a page, I can see that there are only three tabs visible over here. So why I am asking it? So okay, let's see. Create, open. So if I see the dialogue of this particular page if I see the dialogue of this particular page so we have to go to the dialogue of this page we will go here we will go to the sling resource type then we will go to the sling resource super type And here in the CQ dialog, you can see that there are almost eight tabs available here, eight or nine tabs. So why only three tabs are visible uh, while we are creating a page? So let's see when it once again. So you can see there are only three tabs, basic, advanced, social media available while the pages the page is being created. So yes, CQ colon show on create property comes into consideration. So the default value of show on create is true. And you know, you can check with personalization because this is not uh, shown up there. So you, you are seeing that CQ colon show on create is false over here. That why, that's why it is not showing up there. We can see all other properties which are not showing up there. They have the same reason CQ colon show on create. Uh, the this property can also work on the tab as well as on uh, on a widget as well. So if I make it true, so I I will be able to see it while I'm creating a page. Check it out. Yes, I'm able to see personalization. But if I I want to hide a particular you know widget, let's suppose I want to hide name from shown create. So what should I do? I should go to basic items column, go to title items, then we can just add, uh, I'm just copying actually, I'm just trying to copy. So copy and I'm just trying to paste it, sorry show and create and I just made it false. So what will happen, this property will not come up here in the dialogue. So you can see it. So CQ colon show on create property works on the dialog when we are creating a page. The by default value is true. And if I want to hide it, hide the tab, hide the widget, we can make it false. My second property CQ colon hide on edit. So how this property will work. So if I open up a page and I go to, I go to editor.html. And then I go to a particular page properties. So this is uh, this is the place where uh, hide on edit work. So uh, by default value of hide on edit is you know true sorry false. And every time uh, the, all the widgets are shown up here. If I want to hide something from here, I can add this property as true. So uh, let's suppose I want to hide this name from here. So what I will do? I will make this as a true and then it will be disappeared from here so that's how this property will work so my next property is allow bulk edit this property is very important in terms of if we want to add some specific property on all the pages or on multiple pages it can just help us out so uh, you can see an example so uh, first of all allow bulk property work only on those pages which are created from a same linked resource type so let me go here sites p retail then 
English then let's choose two pages and I'm assuming that these pages have been created from same template maybe not I think I need to choose two pages which are created from same template maybe these are also not there so English uh, we I can choose them like these are created from same page because this properties you know field won't be visible here if it won't happen so I can choose uh, I, I have did it actually so I can choose the title like test title I'm just doing bulk editing of title and I'm adding some tag over here experiment fragment and if I want to save it it just happened to be there and that you can see that all the pages are sharing the same properties so this is how bulk allow bulk edit work so this property is very important in terms of uh, in terms of when uh, you know uh, live copies inherit the properties from the master copy so if we go to this particular page we can just check it out yeah, if we go to this particular page we can just see that the this page is having a node cq colon live sync config and here there is a property cq colon master which is you know linked to this particular page so i can say that this page is in uh, is this page is having a master copy this uh, you can see the, these two pages here this page is having a master copy this and uh, cq msm locable property helps me to inherit the values from the master copy but uh, it it does more than that so first understand how cq msm locable property is being you know just put so if we go to the dialogue once again uh, page p1 page and if we go to the cq colon dialogue we can just check that uh, uh, this property title property is having uh, sorry title property is having a node title property is having a node uh, granite colon data and here we have put cq hyphen msm hyphen locable and uh, the the name of the property will be same as the name of the widget here we can put it exactly like this as well so there are two ways to do that so we can just remove dot slash and we can just add it so this is how we put it in a page property and in the real time how it works so if we go to this particular page and if we go to this particular page and we can just check the sling resource type of this page If we go to this particular page we can just see that uh, the, in the header part we are just trying to uh, fetch uh, somewhere in the okay so in the footer part I have put it header so in the footer part I am trying to you know just print dollar properties the subtitle so if we go to the parent this is the my master copy so if I add some value in the master copy of subtitle like master subtitle and I am not adding anything in the junior uh, junior copy it means live copy and this property you can see is has a chaining relationship with the parent one so if I refresh the page I can see that this property is getting value from the master copy so master subtitle and if I go to this page, sorry, the master page, it is it also supposed to get property from the master page. So there is a use case. Uh, when when uh, if there is a use case, if I just cancel the inheritance, what happens there? If I cancel the inheritance, and I can add like live copy subtitle here. And if I refresh the page, it just picks the value of the subtitle from the live copy itself. So there is very important thing to notice in the page properties uh, uh, in the JCR content of this particular page is if we go to E and if we go to JCR content, 
we can see that there is a property CQ colon property inherited cancel is subtitle. So if we fetch every property, it will first check whether this property is having inherit is cancelled or not. If, if there is no property, something like that, it will fetch properties from the master copy. Other will just fetch the value from the current uh, current page. So if uh, once one more scenario, if I just want to you know revert the if I just want to revert the inheritance so if i want to revert the inheritance this will not impact uh, you know it will not impact the live copy right now because it the, the source is not you know uh, the master copy is not impacting this the master copy is not being synchronizing i have added a line over here let me show it to you so <coughs> when you re-enable inheritance this property is not automatically synchronized with the source property so we need to synchronize it manually so there are multiple rollout configurations so i have just go to my page properties and in the blueprint i have added push on modify or maybe something else we can use maybe okay so i will use push on modify so i will go here and if i will make some changes in the in the you know title or something like that so if i made some changes like title test i'm saving it so if i'm you know making some changes here it will mod uh, push on the live copies itself so if i go to the down side i can see that modal subtitle test so this is how cq msm locable works so there is a problem with the with this particular concept that MSM doesn't operate with deep properties because uh, you understand then when we cancel the inheritance it just add a property CQ colon property inherited cancelled but in the cases of deep down we need we have one more node image file reference and uh, the dialog logic uh, doesn't uh, in the dialog logic it works but in the terms of MSM, MSM this deep down properties doesn't work here so S2 solutions provide a you know a solution for fix for this so you can just get it through to fix it if you really required it but if you don't want for customization you just keep this thing in mind in advance that amazon locable won't work for deep properties so i hope you like the video please subscribe and follow our blogs you can go and read our blogs at sgnblogspot.in thank you so much